Hey everyone, welcome back to another user interface tutorial for the Gato engine. This one's gonna be short and sweet. I was gonna add this in the last episode, but it's just getting too long. So today we're gonna be adding the ability to delay your animations within your animation component. Um, if this is new to you, what we've been working on is this animation component node and script that is allowing us to easily create animations for any user interface control nodes. We've already set up a, a hover effect, uh, so you can hover on and off, and we've added a bunch of different options. And so today we're gonna add the ability for that, that delay. Uh, as always, if you'd like to uh, grab the source files for this tutorial, previous UI tutorials and future UI tutorials, as well as every other Gato tutorial that I've created, you can grab those as a patron of my Patreon. All right, so we're in our animation component script. We've got a lot more going on from the last episode. Let's just add a little bit more to get that delay. Now, where we wanna add this delay is in our um, add tween function. This function is uh, where we're doing the, the animations for our, our control nodes. We're using tweens. There is a built-in sort of delay interval. In fact, I'll type it out. I've not gotten it to work. Um, so I'm, I'm doing a different method, but maybe if it works for you, that's awesome. It's, it's not super reliable, but it's this, uh, tween interval function right down here. And so what that does is it, it delays by a certain amount. This could be, um, you know, 0.1 seconds, and then you're waiting for that timeout and then it continues because you're doing this, uh, the, the await. We're going to do uh, a different variation of that again, because it's not working for me. Well, let's jump up to our export values first. So we've got all of these different properties, settings that we can adjust for whenever we're, we're hovering on and off of our control nodes. And what we want to do is just add another parameter here, or another variable rather. And this is gonna be called hover delay. This will be a float. And this is going to allow us to set um, a value in seconds that the uh, the animation will delay. So if we wanted to wait a second before the animation goes, we put in one. Now that we have our export variable, we need to add a new parameter to our add tween function. We already have our, our values dictionary that we're passing through. Uh, we're setting whether or not we're running everything at the same time with parallel. Seconds is how long the animation takes and also our transition type and easing type. So we want to add in a new one. In fact, let's let's keep it near seconds since it deals with time. And recall this delay. And that will be a float. And I know we're getting a lot of parameters in there, but that's a-okay. Now that we have that, let's jump up to our connect signals area where we're calling that function. We've connected that function, we're binding our parameters here, and we need to add that parameter now that we've we've created it in our function. And we added it after time. It has to be the same order, otherwise it's gonna get confused. You gotta load it in the same order, just as if you were calling the function, right? So we did it after time. So after time, we'll add in our hover delay variable in both cases, and now we fill those out. So it's gonna be super happy with us. And now we can get down into our add tween function and actually add the delay. So again, I had issues getting this to work. I, I At some point it did work and then it freaked out and it just, it would not do anything. So here's my method, my workaround for that. And I will also note that you can set a delay for each of these properties, but then you're setting them for the property. And if you weren't running them at the same time, it would be between each individual one. That might work. You could do that method if you wanted to. Um, but this seems to, to do okay for me. So after we set whether or not we're running everything at the same time with our set parallel, we're going to pause. We're going to pause our tween. We're going to allow all of these properties to create. It's a weird issue of uh, pausing and then setting a timer and then the properties load and they don't have what they need to run. So we're just gonna pause everything. All of these properties will get created and then we'll run our await 
get tree create timer and that's where we're going to use our our delay parameter right there we'll wait for that to oh i wish i could type timeout and then after that's done then we play it and just with that we we should be good and we can actually test this so let's go into our animation component we have our delay let's delay that for a second so what this means again I'll hover on the button and it won't do anything, won't animate for a second. That's the delay. And we can change that to, you know, 0.2. It'll be shorter on off. That's all it takes to add just a, a nice delay to your animations if you need them. Add a little bit more control, pause your tween, fill out your properties through your loop wait for that timeout, and then restart your tween. That seems to take care of it, and it also fixes some other issues with the timing. If you're, you're adding these delays, it gets a little weird. Again, if this works for you, that's great. I can't get it to work. It, it might be the, um, the version I'm in or something, or I don't know. It, it should work, but I think this, this loop kind of it throws it for a loop. So anyway, that's how you do it. Nice and quick. In the next episode, we're going to add in that enter to uh, animation, and we'll uh, we'll start moving on from animations and, and get into some actual user interface stuff. Because at least we can make it look pretty now, right? All right. So uh, yeah, that's it. As always, thanks for watching and keep creating. All right, guys. If this tutorial was helpful, consider it a like and subscribe to the channel as we're going to be covering a lot more. Thanks to all of my patrons who keep this series going. You too can get access to the project source files by joining my Patreon. You can download everything there and you'll also get early access to my videos and sneak peeks at future tutorials. Thanks for watching and as always, keep creating. 